Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Bob Doyle and this is Star Tile. Um, this shower is probably, I'm going to say it's definitely the largest I've ever dealt with. Uh, the slope that I ended up with in here on this Curbo shower is about an inch and a half. It used to be a tub. The tub went, it was a jacuzzi tub, so that will not be there anymore. There will be no tub there. So this happened quite a bit 20 years ago. People would just come in and paint over their tile. And of course it doesn't stick because the tile is not porous. And it was only one, only one of these on eBay. And I'm like, wow, I got really, really lucky on this. You will see this toilet has actually been set before, so all that's not caca or anything like that. That's just wax, excess, excess wax. There's not a tiler out there, either starting out or years of experience, that would ever do work like this. And that's all there is to it. This tub is free and clear, except for the walls. And then I set the pan liner and poured, poured the mortar inside the pan liner. This is what the tile is. Look at So it's like a nine inch by three inch tile. But if you look really close, it has like little intentional cracks in it. This is wet. And I was, on, and I was not anticipating the subfloor being wet this badly. In fact, it kind of stinks. So here's a couple of interesting things while I'm on this anatomy of a bad bathroom job. And then the tile actually bumps out just a tad bit more than, or I'm sorry, the mosaic bumps out a little bit more than the tile. I just cut like an X and I don't go all the way to the edge. When I cut the X, then I put my flange down and it pushes out these four areas. Ten days ago, this was a bathtub, and now it's not. It is a shower. My main goal is to share with you my knowledge and my experience doing tile work, specifically bathroom renovations, but part and parcel to that is tile work. Um, I have a very long history in doing some type of home repair, whether it be in the apartment business, the hotel business, private contractor. I have a history that goes back to the 1980s. So just a little recap of where I'm coming from and what my experience is and why I'm here. Um, when I started out on YouTube, it was 2010. From 2008 and 9, I had a lot of bad bathroom jobs that I was doing over, is what I call a redo. So these bathroom jobs were done by contractors who really didn't have experience at tile, let alone bathroom renovations. If you remember, back in 08 and 09, we were in a really, really bad state of affairs as far as financial situations go. So, so there was roofers doing plumbing and plumbers doing painting and painter, painters out mowing lawns and everybody was doing what they could to make a dollar back in the bad economy. You know, I have enough skills that I could survive during that time, but then I started getting these phone calls Hey, I have a bad bathroom renovation. This guy really messed up my job. Then I got the next one, and then the next one, and the next one. And so what happened is it begat me doing or somehow getting involved in a lot of bad bathroom renovations. So it's not really a niche per se that I've carved out, but it's an unintentional consequence, I suppose, of being on YouTube. My channel has really never been a how-to channel. So my focus was, watch your contractor, watch what he's doing on a day-to-day -day basis, and these are the things you should be looking for. That's how my channel was focused. That's how my channel kind of started out as kind of a heads-up channel, I, I suppose, for lack of a better term. And then I started moving over to the DIY part, and there are a lot of videos on my channel on how to set a shower pan line or how to pour a shower pan, how to you know, put up wallboard, how to build a curb, how to build a niche. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. There's a lot, a lot of videos for consumption out there, and I know a lot of people that watch one or two videos don't really realize that I have a channel that's encompassed with just under 300 videos. I think it's 280 as of today. So I thought I would give you a little bit of my history. So in my younger days, I spent time in the military. Yes, I was in the Army. After I got out, I uh, didn't really know what I wanted to do. For a couple of years, I worked in uh, security. 
<laughs> and then I ended up becoming a fireman. And I really, really enjoyed being a firefighter. Um, that to me was like the epitome of, I can't believe they're paying me. So a lot of firemen become contractors. A lot of firemen have whatever job they have to fill in those 10 days. And what I ended up doing was working at a hotel doing maintenance. Um, that was back in 1985, 1985, 86. So when I started doing maintenance at this hotel, which I had never done before, it was actually the first time I ever changed out a toilet. I was very proud that I actually changed out a toilet. And I look back now and it's kind of funny because it's so second nature to me now. I started learning how to do sheetrock. I started learning how to do carpentry, which I already had some carpentry skills at the time, but I learned electrical and I learned some plumbing. Um, so, so I started to grow my knowledge around that. I ended up getting into maintenance. Um, apartment maintenance specifically. So when I went into an apartment, um, we would have a work order and we would have to fix whatever is on the work order. It, dishwashers, we fix dishwashers, we fix refrigerators, we fix HVAC, we, we fix electrical, we fix anything that's in an apartment. So all of that knowledge that I have going back that far. But it wasn't until probably I don't know, about eight years, nine years in the apartment business that I started to get bored because at a certain point you kind of learn what you need to know. And, you know, I got my certification in HVAC. So this was going back to now 1998. 1998 is when I kind of went out on my own, started doing this type of work for myself. And as I said, now I am Star Tile and I have been doing bathroom renovations for probably at that 20 years, I'm gonna say at least 17 to 18 of those 20 years. There were some other things that I did along the way, but I was kind of learning the trade. I was kind of learning on my own, by the way. I didn't apprentice for anybody. I never followed another tiler around. I never really learned the methods that a lot of people push now. Um, and that, that's probably why a lot of people think that I have sharp edges. And a book soldier is usually, not always, but usually a West Pointer. A West Pointer is very good about reading books and this is the way it has to be and and it has to fit in the box right so you have to think outside of the box and West Pointers can't think outside of the box so the problem is if you follow a West Pointer and things go awry or there's there's something that has to be done that's different from out of the box they don't know what to do they don't think for themselves and I'm, I'm still gonna continue to do it the way that I think makes more sense but I also think things through they have to make sense to me and that's where I'm coming from. So enjoy my content, enjoy my videos. Hopefully you learn something. Hopefully you know you can go through through whatever project you have going on. You're building a bathroom, you're doing a backsplash, you're doing you know tile floor, whatever the case is. I have videos on that. Just go through my channel and you'll find them. Um, in the meantime, good luck to you, and I hope everything works out. And for that, I'm grateful. If I'm able to help you, then I've done my job and I feel better and you feel better, and the world's a happier place.